What is up everyone? So uh, the last like two and a half weeks, I've been doing nothing but working on the S14. Gotten a lot done. It's been kicking my ass, but we've seen a big transformation and it's been all worth it so far. And while I said last video, after we finally got it running and driving, I was gonna do one more video until we move on to something else and put this on the back burner for a little bit. Cause I know a lot of you guys are, well, they love the car, but you guys wanna see something else. So today we are going to be dealing with this booty ass suspension and these crusty old wheels and tires. Really wanna see this thing fully transformed and to do that, we gotta get this thing low on some wheels. And luckily I have a few bits laying around. So we have my S15, which we haven't talked about in a long time. We will address it this week. Please stay tuned. Big news on this. The nice thing about the S15 is, uh, well, it's basically an S14. It's an overpriced, pretty cool looking, half-ass built S14, which means the suspension on it will fit the Zanke. And it actually came from Japan with a pretty cool set on it. It has key office front coils, which is like a really nice coilover from Japan. They're pretty expensive. They're a little bit old school, but they don't leak and they ride pretty good. And then in the rear, we have Greddy coilovers, which is pretty dope. And these things look pretty cool. And once again, they're not seized. They don't leak and they ride half decent. So we're gonna take these off, pass them on to the Stanky since I have some brand new BC suspension for the S15. So a piece of the S15 will live on in the Stanky. So I guess our first job of the day is to remove the coilovers off my little S15. And it breaks my heart to take this car apart even more, but it's gotta be done. <laughs> I hate seeing it dismantled like this, but it's good. It needs to happen. It's like you gotta take things apart before you can put them back together, right? So here we have it. Our key office front coils and our Grady rear coils, they look great. Very excited. I don't know why, but the JDM cars always have mismatched coilovers on them or they have teen flexes on them, one or the other. <laughs> so uh, that was easy uh, because the S15 is like already apart. The pain in the ass part of the whole coilover install is the fact that we have to take off the speaker tray and get in there. Easy on the S15, pain in the butt on that. Let's start with the easy part and uh, let's get the front coils or these giant shocks off of the Zanke. size difference. This is huge. <laughs> Remember boys, size doesn't always matter, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Look at this, this matters. Yeah. This is a meme somewhere. <laughs> Look at the mounting points, line them up. We're gonna have already a, yeah, wow. five inch drop, so. The fronts are super easy. We'll throw those in real quick, but the rears, it's a pain in the butt. So we actually have to remove the rear tray to get to the top two bolts. I don't, I've never done it in S14. I'm really hoping it's not a pain in the butt. Oh. The R33 was such a pain because you had to take apart like the whole interior. But I think for this, oh, oh yeah, this is a lot better. The 33, the C pillar actually went over it, so we had to remove oh all of it. God. So menacing. Oh, there we go. All right, that was a lot easier than that I was thought. That's great. <laughs> That's really nice. Boom. Right there. What a mess. There we go. That's it. Nice. This car is funny though, because it is filthy under here. I really got a power wash underneath here, but besides the dirt, it's really clean. Like there's not any rust. None of the bolts are seized. Even the threads are all clean. This thing is it's a really good easy. car. 
Yeah, painless. Even this, absolutely filthy, right? You can't even tell on camera because, oh, there we go. You can see it is so dirty, but underneath the dirt, it is super clean. It makes me like the car a lot more seeing it with the wheels off, to be honest. I mean, they are. I better not catch feelings today. I don't think you are. You named it after me, Andrew. Stanky? Stanky? <laughs> oh, this is the wrong one. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's always doing that to herself. No, no, what did you call this? Stanky Zanky. What else? What else? Annoying. Dirty. <laughs> what else did you find? Come on, what's my name? Stephanie. Whippin. What's my last name? Field. Oh, Field. Field finds. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Is that how you found Steph? Is that back. how you guys met? Stanky Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself. I like, put myself in the corner. Come on, stay all right, all right, Jay. Let's get the fronts installed because it's nice and easy. Sound good? No. Oh. I just came back with food. All right. Give me like <laughs> six minutes. There you. for the 40 comments of people going, why didn't you put the lift in the air hard so you didn't have to go on the ground? Because it's faster. I know, yeah. but there's just, there's gonna be 40 of those comments. I know why you're doing it. I already love seeing it with like the knuckles higher. Like it just looks right. So um, before we put wheels on it, I wanna roll the rear fenders while it's on the lift. It's nice and easy to the front. I think we can get away with not rolling for now because they are kind of, you know, somewhat rolled from the factory, but the rear quarters are, have a huge lip on them. So while it's up in the air, I'm gonna Oof. do a quick little roll. It'll make life a lot easier for us in the future. So the first step of rolling fenders, people sleep on this step and it's pretty bad. You gotta clean the crap out of the lip. Whoa, yeah. man. People forget and then when you go to roll that lip in there, you'll roll all the dirt in between the two layers, which is not good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, grime. Even like clean cars have that, it's road grime. Yeah. You know? So. Sometimes you gotta take a brush in there because it gets caked. This actually isn't that bad, it was all really loose. So we have to take this big ass lip in here and basically you just roll it in or else this is gonna start rubbing on things, right? If we have an aggressive wheel at least. They have fender rollers, right? We've all seen them. It's like this lever arm that has a roller on it and it just rolls back and forth. Mm -hmm. Those can work really well. Sometimes they could be a pain in the ass. You have to constantly be adjusting it and sometimes when you have thicker metal like the rear quarters, it'll actually pull the quarter while it's rolling because it has too much force. It can distort the quarter and I don't really like the way that looks, right? All right. So I'm gonna do the good old fashioned hammer technique. Uh... You gotta be careful when you do this, all right? So if you have good paint, you wanna heat it up. You gotta make it more malleable because if you start bending this metal, it's gonna crack right here and you're gonna have a really bad time. Are you considering this good paint? No. But I'm gonna do it anyways because I don't want cracking. Basically, you just wanna heat the paint up enough that it's not burning on the touch, but it's like on the hotter side of warm. So like room temperature? No, it's uncomfortable to touch, but it's not burning. Like when you drink tea, the best temp is like where it almost hurts, but it doesn't. Oh, this is like hot chocolate for me then. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I take a hammer that has a lot of surface area. The Harbor Freight hammer is the best one. We all know what I'm talking about. So essentially all I'm doing is giving it like medium strength, solid thuds on the lip and just kind of walking it in. That's it. Okay. A little bit of patience and that's all you gotta do. So. It might not look like you're doing much for a while, but eventually you'll start to feel it slowly kind of slope in. Feel it. Slight slope now, right? It is a slight slope. That's it. Just take your time. Don't go crazy so you don't distort your quarter. And that's it. So we did a nice conservative roll. Some guys like to really pinch their metal, but I like leaving a slight about, wow. What? This just, it's very obvious how much of it got rolled in. It doesn't look conservative, like that's a huge difference. Yeah, so there's actually like, probably like a quarter inch gap up top. So you know, there's like a V that still kind of retains the strength of the yeah. quarter versus if you collapse it, it just turns into like a thin yeah, piece of metal. Yeah, I can feel that there's still like 
Like you, I can fit my, like my pinky in here. Yeah, exactly. It, it just looks like you took like an inch. And so a now half we have away. more room for uh, wheel to fit. So hell yeah, man, that's a pain. That's a, that one's exhausting. Yeah, it looks like Oregon. But it looks really good because the quarter's not distorted at all. The lip looks nice and flat, and it just kind of keeps like the OEM look. Some guys like to roll it out and get like a little flare. I see you if you want bigger fitment, but that's just not my style. So <sighs> other side. <laughs> Rear's rolled, everything's bolted in. I gave the front a quick eyeball alignment because it was towed in like crazy. And now it's time to throw some wheels on this thing and see it looking bitchin'. So, I don't have a lot of extra wheels. You'd think I would, but. You would think. So, I think we're gonna take the wheels off the cookie. I really wanted to see it with like a matching set of wheels because it looked the best, obviously. Let's give it a peek into its possible life as a drift vehicle. I like that. Okay, so can we talk about this giant front. Whoa! Sensor. Yeah. What are the? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. What's the offset on these wheels? These aren't 501.14. Oh my God, those things are adapters, dude. Ouch. 40 millimeter spaced adapters. Dude, that's so annoying. I thought these were for. <sighs> you completely demolished my plan there, finding out that those wheels are 5 by 100. I mean, we could run the adapters, put them on there, but. That might be a little much. Oh, whatever. So we're gonna suck it up and we're gonna put the LXZs on it. Why not, right? If it'll stop you guys from trying to put them on my Beetle. <laughs> so um, Deej has my front two on his car, but he's getting his Minervas thrown back on tomorrow. So we're just gonna throw some wheels on his for now. So Deej, I'm sorry to steal my front wheels back, but. Steal them back. Wheels <laughs> will be back on his car tomorrow, okay? Get out of here. I mean, I'll just take the Minervas off your hands. No comment. No All right, comment. Let's get these on in the rear and then uh, go rob them from DJ. There they are. <laughs> Have a good trip. It's great. It's toasty in here. <laughs> We're good. Tight squeeze. Not gonna lie, that looks pretty freaking good. Dude, it looks so, so good. So honestly, one piece wheels are back in style. Like three piece wheels were always like the shit, right? Deej, for the last like however long, it was always get a three piece wheel set, but like the last like year and a half, one, one piece, piece wheels coming back. coming back heavily. They look better. It's just hard because a lot of the cool, like old school one piece wheels are kind of hard to find in good specs because no one spec'd wheels that aggressively back then. Yeah. yeah. This makes your car look so much more aggressive. Dude, one piece wheels are- Yeah. Big more guess. aggressive. Before it just looked like, oh, I don't know anything about cars. Let me just put these really expensive wheels on. <laughs> Dude, I feel. I, I wish I had four of those to put on the. Those would look. Those would look really, really that, good on that. Yeah, on the. I could buy them new. If I, if I bought two more, yeah. put them on the Zanki, because like if they look this good on your car, it's gonna look just as good on that car. Well, sorry, right? whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do it. I've been, I've been dissing them all day, but don't no, diss them that hard. I didn't mean it like that, dog. <laughs> don't hard. diss the kid that you hard. They, they could pull it off. They could pull it off. It would make that car look that much better. That looks awesome. So maybe yeah, we'll like, order two Donnie's more Donnie's car already looks good. This just like cemented his car looking good Because the three-piece yeah. looks like, you, from here, the three-piece looks a little much for that car. So, but yeah. you just got to use what we got. So maybe we'll order two more of those and it look pretty damn good. All right, let's get these things on and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I gotta keep looking at Donnie's car. Steph, move your legs. Sorry. Get me right, RJ. God, ask it looks DJ. so good. Yeah, ask DJ why he doesn't want to say they look good. Ask him, ask him. Because RJ you to... thinks they look good, which is surprising, so I can't like the same thing that RJ. <laughs> Come on, Donnie. <laughs> what? He's been better lately. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, I didn't trust him at all. Oh, lost? Ooh. All right, I gotta jack it off the lift. That sounds weird. We have to remove it <laughs> from the boss. We gotta remove it from the lift. <laughs> How's it look? Oh wow, this thing's sunk. Maybe I do need that spacer. Yeah. That's crazy. They're a lot more sunk than I thought they would be. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy. So weird to see it lowered. It makes it so much look. The rear fitment is nice. It's very conservative, like very conservative. We could tuck it though. It needs skirts. If it had skirts, Jimmy wouldn't sell it. 
Dude, it's cool. It like looks like a. It just looks like a 240 now. Don't look at it for too long. I like it. Stop it. I like it. Stop it. Love it. Very bubbly. Pipes, expensive wheels, that's bad it. paint. That's it. But at least one color, kind of. Oh, the fitment's so whack right now. So the whole the car needs to be lower, and it needs front spacers. Dude, front lips, side skirts, better fitment. Good to go. It's gonna be great for the next kid. And it needs a math because it's running like an ass. Every yeah, it's like typical KA shit. The sunlight is not good. <laughs> we gotta wait for the sun to go down. <laughs> this one's got some paint. Know, this, we gotta we gotta find some shade because just the... no, just turn the car around so the sun's hitting the one that has like any clear left. Bro, the raw sunlight is not doing this paint good. Who's this guy think he is? That's why his shoes wear out so quick. <laughs> it's definitely a lint mode right now. It's a little wimpy. I'm gonna change the math real quick. Here, Donnie. Thank you. I hope it's this easy. Never is. It's never that easy. I might need that jump pack again. Do it. Do it. You suck. You idiot. What's the key on? Wasn't on. Yep. <laughs> Do it. Did it work? I don't think the math fixed it. Damn it. It needs a link. All right, so it's still kind of running like ass with the other MAF, so uh, that means we either have a pretty big air leak between the MAF and the intake, or something else is bad, like the coolant temp sensor might be bad, or maybe the TPS or something, to throw it into limp mode. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. DJ, at what point can it go from the stanky zanky to the danky uh, danky zanky? <laughs> They're pretty danky right now. <laughs> danky zankies. Danky Here they zankies. are. What do you think, RJ? Big fan of your front wheels, Dude, I feel like I'm 19 again. <laughs> the way this is right now. You look 19. I, I look 19. We should just let Ant drive it around. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it's literally. <laughs> exactly. It's good though, dude. Well. We'll get a running decent. We'll find some actual wheels to leave on it. And then we'll either throw it in the back and let it increase in value, <laughs> or we just sell it as is. Stonks, baby. And move on with our life, so. Um, we got a couple things to think about this week, but I just wanted to get the video series, I guess, done, even though we obviously still have some more work to do, but um, before we move on to anything else, so. I... Now this can be back runways. Yeah, exactly, so. I have um, a pop position. You should dig a <laughs> hole and put it in the hole. That, yeah. Don't people bury cars and they find them years later and they're worth like stupid money. I don't know if they do Where that. Where does this kid get this logic from? I don't know, or just leave it in the shop. What movies do you watch? <laughs> no, they like find Ferraris that are like in, in the in I holes. Know, I don't think they do that. I don't know that either. Maybe not, but um, <laughs> cool. Um, I am so excited to work on my coupe. So excited, so I think that's that's next on the list, right? We got a lot of the parts back from paint. We could throw it all together. We could actually go and drive the car. So first events coming up. First events coming up. We got to figure out what we're going to be driving. So we got some half-ass fitment today, but it's nice to see it lowered on some wheels. The coils feel great. It's really nice to drive it without like blown suspension and dry rotted tires. So um, we'll probably do a couple of things on the side to this thing, but for now the big stuff is there, and uh, I would officially say the Zanki is back to life. Now it's just another old ugly ass 240SX. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's one color. 
At least it's one color. To find one color. <laughs> it's all the same color originally. All right, so today was a quick video. I just wanted to see a thing on the ground and I am so excited to move on to working to some other cooler things. I'm just dying to drive my coupe. So uh, this week, right, RJ, is going to be the warmest week of the year so far. It's supposed to be in the 50s, which means that we could actually kind of take some cars out and I've been dying to do so. So I really, really would love to get Nissan back on the road this week. I really want to play with Nissan this week. I want to play with you want to play with Nissan? I'm yeah. dying to. It's been too cold to, and uh, or just the road's been too crappy. So this week we're gonna do some Nissan we stuff. Got some good rain, heat's coming back. Yeah, the roads are less salty. It's the perfect time. Last piece of the puzzle for the coupe, besides the body kit, will be done in the next two days. So we can put the coupe almost fully back together, which is huge. I mean, at, at this point, it felt like a lost cause, but lots of problems. Lots of everything. It's out of, out of our control. Lots of bodywork problems, but they're almost done and we can get back to it. And I'm so excited to turn the boost up on that thing and actually uh, make, <laughs> and actually feel the car being fast. So uh, we're gonna end it here because we're gonna work on DJ's car. And if you guys want to see us do that, uh, watch the channel. Hey. So link in the description. So hopefully, I'm hoping we're seeing that thing move today. Yeah, do some dyno pulls, right? Not dyno pulls. Bring it down to Derek. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not there, buddy. So, um, but yeah, so. <sighs> the Zanke. Whatever. You guys have heard me talk for the last like 20 minutes, so we're going to end it there. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you very shortly.